Hello again. We have another spelling choice for the sound k. We have introduced the king who put the kettle on and gave the cop in the cap a cup of tea. So we have got quite used to using k on its own and c on its own before a vowel. But this time, we have k at the end of a word. Kick is one of the words we will be looking at. And you can see the spelling choice. C-K. If it's in a word that is one syllable, and has a short vowel sound. A, E, I, O, O, A. And we will be using these four vowel sounds in this lesson. A quick reminder, if our word has a short vowel sound and one syllable or one chin tap and we can hear k right at the end of that word we use the letters c and k and here is the word kick how many sounds can we hear k i So let's have a go at writing this word that has k at the beginning and k at the end. But a different way of writing each one. Well, we can hear k before i. So we know to put a k. And then we could hear k at the end of a one tap word with a short vowel sound. So we put ck. Two spelling choices in the same word. Sack. This is a sack of flour. S-a. I can hear s at the beginning. So I write the letter s. And I don't have to worry about the spelling choice until I get to the k at the end of the word. And I can see that it's a one tap word because there's only one vowel sound. Our word is dock. Somewhere for ships and boats to moor or park so that people can get on and off or so they can be mended. This one was called the Prince's Dock. What sounds can we hear? D, O, Which letters will we need? Well, we need the letter D for D, O for O, and the K is at the end. A one-syllable word with a short vowel sound, so we know to put CK. And the last word on this screen, net. That's where that arrow is pointing to. N -e -k. I need the letter N. This time I need the letter E for the vowel sound and C K. Well done. Now we have a few more screens to come. 
If you want to take a rest at the end of this one and come back at another time, that's absolutely fine. Oh, what have we got here? It is a stack of books. How many sounds? S -t -a -k. So see if you can write the word before I do. K is at the end again. And here's our quick reminder. Is it a one syllable word with a short vowel sound? Stack. Which letters will we need? S is S, T is T. And well done if you've put C, K at the end of it. There we go. Stack. And our next word. Well, Looks a bit odd, but it happens to be one of my favourite cheeses. And the specks all over it are cranberries. So, s, p, e, k. And if you like, when you write the word, you can add suffix s because there's more than one speck. I'm going to write speck. Sp is S-P. E is E and yes, K is C-K because it's another one tap word with a short vowel sound. And did you add suffix s? Well done. We'll have a few more suffixes later. Ooh, that burger is very thick. One of the ones that's tricky to eat because you can't open your mouth wide enough. I can hear and my teeth are on my tongue. I, k. So we need an extra think about this one. But we need two letters, T and H. Two letters at the beginning and two letters at the end. Even though the beginning and the end of the word thick have just one sound. Thick. Oh, we have a tick and a snack. Pretzels or a banana? Maybe it's pretzels and a banana. And this is where we are going to be adding more suffixes to our starter words. Tick. T. I. K. Okay. Well, T is T. I is I. And I'm getting used to it now is CK. But what about if there's more than one tick? Yep, we add suffix S. There's tick, our starter word, and we've added suffix S. What about the suffix ing if we add that one? It becomes a word with more than one syllable. Ticking. Hmm. It's okay though. 
we still have the same starter word. And it has a wall that is two consonants. So we don't have to worry about doubling. We simply add the suffix ing. Ticking. And what about if the teacher has already ticked my work? Now, this is a new suffix, ticked. It's tricky because we have three different ways of saying the letters E and D. But suffix ED is used for something that's already happened. And we remind ourselves of that when we hear words like ticked. Ah, the teacher ticked it. It's already happened. I know it's going to be suffix ed. Even though it sounded like t. Right, ticked. Let's write snack. S n a k. Here we go. S n is s n a, and yes, k was at the end of a one tap word with a short vowel sound. So when I write snacks, because there are two of them there. Then I just add suffix s. And if I was writing about snacking, I just add suffix ing. And have we got that suffix ed that sounds like t? Yes, we do. Snacked. I snacked on pretzels and a banana. Snacked. Sounds like t. But because I'm writing about something that has already happened, the suffix I add is e d. Well done. Ooh, what's this going to be? Somebody with a stocking. So we're going to write a short story. I am off to stick this stocking to the bedpost so Santa can't miss it. Here we go. I am off. Have a think. Is there something extra to remember? I, I need a capital I, am. And off, it's not a strategy word. It's another word where if we hear f at the end, of a one tap word with a short vowel sound, we write double F. To stick. To stick. And the CK spelling choice for a one tap word with a short vowel sound. This stocking, this, cross the T and dot the I, stocking. There we go, we've added suffix ing again. We'll just fit to the in there, I think. To the. Bay. 
red post. And post, post office stays tidy, was our first sound spelling. Bed, post. There we go. So, Santa. Now, Santa has got more than one syllable. Write Sant first, but think about it. It's a name. And then add A. We can hear exactly which letters we need. So, another strategy word. Santa, capital S, and then we have Ant. Ah! So, Santa can't miss it. Can't. And we needed an apostrophe. Did you remember that? Because it's short for can not miss. Double S was the other spelling choice where we needed it if it was a one syllable word with a short vowel sound. So that little story had got lots of different things to remember. You can have another go at texting it or typing it up. But before we go, let's have a last reminder of our story for remembering the spelling choices for k. Because we've added one. The king put the kettle on to make a cup of tea. He gave the cop in the cap a cup and he gave him a snack. Snack, one tap word with a short vowel sound, there it is. So the spelling choice we remember, CK, if that's where we hear Thank you for joining me.